Well, if the holidays aren't stressful enough just for you, what about your pets? Here to tell us all about how you can reduce the stress for your pets this holiday season, Vanessa Cornwall of Lost Our Home Pet Rescue. Thank you for being here, Vanessa. Thank you for having us. So what's crazy to me is we have a cat, and I always feel like during the holidays, the cat's going to run out of the house because people are going to leave the door open, and I'm stressed, the cat's stressed, everyone's stressed. How do we avoid that? <laughs> So with guests coming and going and package deliveries, uh, you definitely want to know your pet if they're curious or an escape artist. Then you're going to want to leash them. I don't know if maybe that'll work for your cat or not <laughs> while people are, are coming right. and going. Um, but you also want to make your guests aware, you know, as they're coming and going from your home that you do have pets and to, you know, be mindful of not letting them out of the house. I'm going to make sure my mother-in-law watches this because she's the worst at leaving the door open. <laughs> I'm like, this is not good for anybody. <laughs> now, for the actual animals, right? Mm -hmm. Stressful time. They kind of feed off our energy, right? So if you're stressed, hosting, having a get together, the pets might be acting a little strange. How do we help make things a little more comfortable for the for the animals? So you want to stick to a routine as much as possible for your pets. They are, dogs and cats are creatures of habit. So changes can be stressful for them. And then you definitely want to make sure they're getting enough exercise because a tired pet is a happy pet. That makes a lot of sense. So you're taking walks before or after a get together, just making sure right. they're getting out and, and uh, running some energy up. Exactly. How about sort of taking care of them during the holidays? We always joke about, you know, everyone eats more dessert this that for pets is it is there a similar you know philosophy you want to follow with them during the holidays well when it comes to holiday foods you definitely want to be careful because there are a lot of holiday foods that can be toxic for pets so for instance you know candy chocolate things like that that you might give as gifts you want to make sure that you're not putting those items under the tree until Christmas morning because mm. your pets can get into them and then there are some holiday foods that are safe to share with dogs and cats like turkey and green beans and things like that but you just really want to be conscious of the ingredients that you put in there because anything Thing like garlic, onions, raisins, bones can be really dangerous. So you want to make sure that you're not giving your pets anything that has have those ingredients. Christmas trees. It's inevitability that the pet's going to challenge the Christmas tree to a fight at some point. <laughs> How do we keep them away from, from those street brawls that go on? <laughs> so keeping a spray bottle nearby yeah. is, a, is a good way to kind of deter them from, you know, any overly interested dogs or cats in the in the Christmas tree. And then if that doesn't seem to be effective, you can use uh, bitter apple spray oh. to keep them away from that. And then you also want to be aware of where you're positioning your Christmas tree in your home. Because if you have cats, if you have a shelf nearby or something that they could kind of launch onto the Christmas tree, that could be problematic. And I feel so rude. Who is this? I'm sorry to introduce myself <laughs> to you, little guy. This is Evie. Oh. She's three months old. She's a terrier mix and she is a available for adoption at Lost Our Home. Well, how would people find out more information about information you told us about or even adopting a uh, little Evie here? You can visit our website at lostourhome.org and you can also contact us by phone and that number is 602-445-PETS. So if you're interested in adopting Evie, you can fill out an application on our website. Vanessa, great information. Really appreciate you joining us. Thank you for having us.